I will never forget this. I never had a player to do this. So I remember going, us going to Chicago. Now we're in suit and tie. We're sitting in the locker room. We just walked in the locker room. Now remember, Michael Jordan walks into our locker room suit and tie. I'm like, what the hell is he doing in our locker room? Is he coming to, you know, to the training room? Well, what's going on? So he walks by me, he walks by Kevin, we get to Randy with me, he said, lace him up, it's gonna be a long night. I'm like, did he just come in our locker room? <laughs> I didn't know what to say, I was shocked. He had 60 that night. He had 60 points that night. So KG had never seen me play against Mike. We in Chicago, you know, it's my rookie year. And I got about 24 going into the fourth quarter. JR is having a good game. So I'm quiet, I always stay quiet when I play my, I didn't talk too much. So as we come out the timeout, just I'm on y'all, y'all, I can't even explain it. We come out of the fourth quarter, KG like, man, keep going at his ass, serve him. He can't guard you. Yo, keep killing that nigga, yo, keep killing that nigga. Boning him, yo, straight up, you having a good game, Joe, keep going. I was quiet, I'm looking at him like, Chill, because Mike was literally right there. The nigga right here. Mike can hear me. So I double battle it. Yeah. Okay. Keep going at him. Wow. He's strong for this dude, man. So as I say that, I feel it. So Mike looked at me, looked at KG. Hands on hips, legs locked. The nigga stared at me for about 15 seconds. I was like, Mike, he don't know the rules of the game, man. He's just a young puppy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, look, Mike, he don't really know how we... I see him and Mike having a conversation. So he's like, he don't really know he excited. Whatever. So now MJ on the back leg joint. Okay, you talking? Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, huh? And Mike looked at him again like, okay. He looked at me like, okay. I said, what you looking at me like that for, right? <laughs> I can't even really describe the next like six to seven minutes of play, yo. <laughs> Came into the, went to the fourth quarter, man. That man got about eight, 17 quick. We down 25 now, it was just that two. Mad, looking at KG, looking at me, looking at KG. It got bad quick, <laughs> yo. I come to the joint and then they know this. When you come and you been on the run, you not got back on the floor, got back, had to rebound, had, and you feel like you on defense all the time, you come to the bench like this. <sighs> so I was like, Jay, man, my bad, my, my bad, dog. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. See you later. It's cool, man. I told you, just shut your ass up, man. You're not fucking. <laughs> so, so you got in between the gate right there where you like, damn. And next thing you know, we over there like this. And Mike came down. Okay, young fella. Okay, okay, damn, young fella. Damn, damn. Y'all, y'all done? Damn, young fella. <laughs> Never talk shit to Mike ever again yeah. in life. My rookie year, uh -huh. we were playing the Chicago Bulls. And this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in. Okay. And we were playing an ex exhibition game in some obscure place. And most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie. And we're playing this exhibition game, and Michael's going through the motion. And Chuck Person, who's on my team, who's a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan, the guy everyone's talking about, who's supposed to be able to walk on water? You're out here killing him, Reg. This is in the first half. <laughs> He's like, you should be talking to him. He's like, you know, you're right. Michael, who do you think you are? <laughs> The great Michael Jordan. That's right. There's a new kid on town, right? Kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. So at half, I have 10, and he has four points, right? And I'm doing all this talking. He's like, okay. End of the, end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. <laughs> so he outscored me 40 to 2. And as he's walking off, he's like, be sure and be careful, you never talk to black Jesus like that. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, black Jesus. I'm so we got Chicago Bulls coming in town, <clears throat> and unfortunately, uh, I got a sprained ankle, you know, and so. Did you say fortunately you Unfortunately. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Okay. I, I enjoy guarding Mike because he was, you know, the one thing I did with Mike is I never got him pissed off. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> he make a shot, you say, good shot, Mike. You know, you don't talk trash to him no, so no. he can go off for 60. You know, you, can, you try to kill him with kindness. Yeah. You don't try to talk trash to him. So they're getting off the bus. We're done with shoot around and we're walking out and MJ says, B. Scott, what's going on? I said, what's up, MJ? He said, man, I, I hear that you're not playing tonight. I said, no, I'll spring my ankle. He said, who's guarding me? I said, Anthony Peeler. He said, oh, 50. <laughs> <laughs> so I told Anthony Peeler, listen, um, MJ, uh, he's probably going to go for about 50 tonight on you. So just <laughs> don't, don't piss him off. You know, just be cool. He, had, he ended up with 54. <laughs> so this
this can be something you probably, you probably could print. You know, I'm playing in my, uh, my camp against O.J. Mayo. He was a top high school kid coming out. And I didn't, I never met him first time. In front of my camp, he starts this thing about, uh, you can't guard me, you can't do this. You know, I got my campers here, so I obviously I can't really go where I want to go because of my camp. So I stop the camp, send the kids to, to bed. We go back to playing. And he starts his whole thing, you know, that you can't guard me, you can't do this. And then finally I just then I said, look, dude, you, you, you may be the best high school player, but I'm the best player in the world. So from this point on, it's a lesson. And from that point on, it was a lesson. He never won a game. I posted him up. I did everything. If I can ever show you that film, and if you can ever ask him that, ask him about the thing that happened at my camp. I don't consider that trash. I consider that fact. <laughs> you call it trash. <laughs> Mike, come on, man. They can't be for real. You haven't got me yet. Huh? Mike, it, don't even try it. You want me to go call Scotty? You have to call Scotty. Boy, boy. What you call Scotty for? I haven't got you recently. Yeah, I agree with no, that. No, you haven't got me in the six years. One, two, three, I just go and say. You you can't no. Never. He said, I'll get you one day. You no. <laughs> he never dunked on you. He never hey, put you on the highlight. No. No. He said, I would love for you to give him my poster, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen. Lying. <laughs> you know he's lying. It's never going to happen. Come on, man. When? All right, we're going to count your green. Ball board. Who <laughs> gets Scotty? Took it off the glass. Oh. Nope. Luke tipped it out. Michael get it forward for the fresh shot clock. MJ. Oh. Michael shakes the finger, but he finally got his dunk on Mount Matumbo. He never dunked on you. He never Face put you on the me. highlight. No. No. He said, I would love to give him my poster, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen. The story that I think summed the whole thing up. We was playing uh, Chicago in Salt Lake. They switched and put John Stockton on it. And he turned around and dunked on Stockton. So some guy got up and almost followed him down the sideline and said, hey, Jordan, pick on somebody your own size. Next time down the floor, he dunked on Mel Turpin. And went over and looked at the guy and said, was he big enough? Did you ever get involved in trash talk with Jordan? Thanks a lot, Jimmy. For I just wonder, but like, I, because I, you don't seem like a trash talking kind I, of guy I'm to not. me. And I never talk trash, but one time in my entire life. With Jordan. With Jordan. Oh, all my right. First ever time ever talking trash. So we're with the dream team. Okay. And uh, for three days in a row, we had came into a tie because what Coach Daly did, he split the team up East versus West. So Barkley, Jordan, Larry Bird, Pippen. Uh, and Patrick Ewing all played in the East. Wow. And then we had the West guys, myself, David Robinson, Malone, uh, Mullen, uh, Drexler, and so, and John Stockton. So we would play every day, tie. So this is the fourth day. And we got out on him about 12 to 2. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really rattle his chain. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, said, hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Jimmy, his eyes got big. <laughs> Usually that tongue come about right here, and now it's way out. <laughs> he broke the huddle. He hit a three, and he's looking at me. <laughs> so he came down again, hit another three. <laughs> so the greatest shot. Now, I've been involved in all three of them. First, Dr. J walked out in air, out of bounds. Oh, yeah, right. Reverse right. layup, up, under, up yeah. under. Right. Michael Jordan in 1991 came down on us with the right hand, tongue out. <laughs> he switched in midair to the left, <laughs> spun it against the glass. Now, this is the greatest shot I've seen. He came down the right side, took off. David Robinson took off. And he said, OK, I'm going to just sit here in the air. Because <laughs> I know David Robinson is going to go down. <laughs> so David Robinson went to the ground. He 360, tongue moving, <laughs> and dunked it. In a practice game. In a practice game. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And I was just stunned. And all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that long and 360. Michael Jordan is so incredible. Well, There'll never should, be The moral is you should not talk trash to Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You say 360, you mean like it was like full... Like this, all the way? <laughs> <laughs>
Michael Jordan, it's who you said you wanted to be like. And I've heard you say multiple times that when you saw him for the first time on the court, you could literally see the aura around him. Because that was my guy, that was my hero. Did you talk to him before the game at all? No. It was just strictly... It was, it was, um, the first time I, t I ever talked to him was, um, that year, playing in the rookie game. That was the year they did the top 50 of all time. Oh, dude, okay, okay. Yeah, when they had the jackets on yep, and all yep. that. And I saw him walking through the, um... I'll never forget it because he said, what's up, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. I looked at him like, all right, man. What do you say back to that? Because it's somebody you Nothing. really rock with. Nothing. You just got to eat that, right? Nothing. And then, like, I remember one time I was telling him how much I rock with him. And he was like, man, you wouldn't rock, you wouldn't rock with me like that because you wouldn't cross me like right. that. Right, you wouldn't hit me with that, that crossover. I always knew that once I got to the league, I was going to try my move on the best. So, he was just a victim that night. That's a foul all day long. Oh, I know you ain't talking. I know you ain't talking. Hey, you only got three now. I get six. I will get that foul. You only got three now. <laughs> I know where you're going. You got to get up quick. If you knew where I was going, why you go for the face? Mike, after you face the ball, where else you going to go? You left your feet. Yeah, but where else you going to go? In the game, I go for you. I spun all the way around. I go for these ribs right here. Three, two. That's all right. Hey, you know, I shoot them better when the clock going down.